Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be sharing my thoughts with you with regarding that most recent and shocking episode of House of the Dragon. I had a very busy weekend and a very late night last night, so I did not have a chance to catch up on the hit HBO Max show until now, earlier tonight. I just finished watching the latest episode. <whistles> Yikes, am I right? Ooh, there's a lot to unravel and talk about here. So before I get into all of that, please be warned. Obviously, like most of my episode reviews, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you're not caught up on House of the Dragon by this episode or the past couple episodes, you don't want to keep watching or listening, as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, all that jazz, you know, all that fun stuff. So you have been warned, and this was a doozy of, ep of an episode. So if you're not caught up, for God's sake, get caught up and stop listening to this video. Anywho, let's get right back to it. So first and foremost, I really loved in the opening of how through metaphors uh, or wordplay, whatever you want to call it, how Rhaenyra and her cousin or second cousin basically agreed to an open relationship or an open marriage uh, regarding their politically uh politically uh, arranged marriage and whatnot and how they each have their own respective lovers and they're going to continue seeing their respective lovers despite getting married to one another so I thought that was a pretty good arrangement and then later on but of course I should have known better because uh, almost in every web episode that's featured a wedding in Game of Thrones and Westeros it has never ever gone well so why am i not surprised that everything of course goes to hell in this episode because they host a goddamn wedding so the rule the the, the not the rule the lesson of this episode is don't get married in westeros or at least don't get married in the world of game of thrones because shit will go sideways like that <laughs> so because i felt like wow there's a pretty good arrangement here and the two respective lovers have met and talked with one another or at least you know the valarian prince's uh lover talked to uh sir Kristen, and he seemed to say hey man just so you know here's where we stand i hope everything's cool you know you're okay with this and whatnot you know and then damon seemed to be behaving himself despite brutally murdering his wife although i can't tell if he intentionally planned for her to spook her horse so she would fall off and die or if he took advantage of a very bad death situation which led to her actually dying which makes me wonder now is he the now the lord of the veil vale? because that was the veil vale. and was she the lady of the veil vale? and by being her husband and now widower is he the lord of the veil vale? or does that fall to someone else but it feels like even if he isn't lord of the veil vale yet he is getting close close to being that and having his own private little army, as we saw. That's what happens when you become Lord of the Vale in Game of Thrones. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, I, I really uh, did not expect to see Sir Kristen brutally beating the hell out of uh, the, the prince's lover uh, during the wedding. You know, I thought that scuffle was going to be, uh, you know, uh, like a demon not rough housing with the princess but somebody getting between damon and uh rhaenyra but uh then because of the scuffle and how it was so well it was so well uh filmed too like even the camera work with the crowds and the placing of the extras like we couldn't even tell what the scuffle was or who was actually involved or participating in said scuffle in the overall fight and then we see it's chris like oh who's he attacking oh is he beating up damon no he's beating up the other lover guy oh okay and just crushed his face and completely i mean it looked like that cranberry sauce that you serve at thanksgiving dinner you're welcome <laughs> but damn i mean holy shit what an episode this was um it was a real real shocker and then the way it ends with them having a not so joyful wedding ceremony with just the parents and the bride and groom and the septon and then they do it in that hall where the pile of the the pile of blood still is from the poor beaten dead man and then a rat comes along and starts drinking out of it right after the king faints after the exchanges of the vows 
and everyone rushes to him because he's been fainting and getting sicker and sicker throughout this episode. Does he have gray scale? Because it looked like he had some bad, nasty gray skin on this arm when he was in the bathtub earlier. I mean, is that what's going on with him? Or is there some other sickness inflicting, afflicting him or whatever? I don't know, but... Man, what an episode. I mean, it, uh, it the like uh, Kristen beating the hell out of this guy and then him uh, implicating himself to the queen when she thought he was going to talk about Damon and Rhaenyra, but then he revealed to talk about himself and Rhaenyra. And she chose to sit on that information. And now that she uh, seemingly stopped him from killing himself, it makes me wonder, is she going to get him to switch over to her side now? Like... Is she becoming a high tower rather than be staying queen regent? It's hard to say. Allegiances are always changing in this franchise, so you never know where people stand until it's too late. But man, what an episode. It was a jam-packed episode, dude. So much happened. I mean, wow. Great episode. An excellent halfway point episode, because with this being the fifth episode, we only have five more to go until... Well, technically four more to go, and then the fifth one will be the season one finale. And then the show isn't going anywhere as it got a season two pickup, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the coming episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your night, and thank you for bearing with me with this uh, slightly delayed video. I do appreciate your support and loyalty. Have an awesome rest of your night. House of the Dragon. Dragon drops new episodes every Sunday on HBO Max. Don't miss it. It's a great show. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.